Right, welcome back to another Kaldheim Quick Draft. Uh, this, is, this will be my uh, third one, so let's just get underway. So far, I think, let's see, I, um, I went, I played Boris Agro, I went four wins, three losses, and I went a four color black snow deck, which went uh, three and three. Okay, we are drafting for my, I'm drafting for my collection here, so I'm just going for these rares. Raven Law. I've seen people play this. Okay, nice. You get to draw three. Potentially scry five. Seems good. Maybe we're in blue and we're in uh, snow. This could, this could definitely be played in the draft. So we'll just have a look. At, we'll make sure we look at the snowlands. So we've got Alpine Meadow there. But, um, what jumps out at me is Berg Strider. I just lost to a Berg Strider deck. They had a couple. Um, so that looks like the pick, almost certainly. But let's look at everything else. So we've got um, Black Berserker. Oh wow, second spell he gets two plus one plus one counters, but he starts at one one. Interesting. Ah, Basalt. Ravager. So we could go blue red wizards. This is the direct damage wizard. Giant wizard. Um, that's a pretty good one if we're going blue red. And then there's invasion of the giants as well. Uh, which is just, just kind of nice to do on turn two, I suppose. But uh, doesn't, yeah, but it. It makes your next giant a bit cheaper on turn four. Right, so this just seems really good. The Berg Strider. This one's quite good, it's sort of very conditional. Um, It just feels about time I tried uh, maybe a blue red giant's deck. Okay, giant coward. Okay, let's so yeah, let's try a Berg Strider. So we've got this is our first snow payoff. Well, actually, no, sorry, we've got two snow payoffs in blue already. Uh, we are going to try and pick up Snowlands if we can from now on. So it looks like we're playing Giants as well, so that means red-blue. I don't know if Invasion of the Giants is considered to be any good at all, but... Um, I mean, it's, scry it's Scry 2 on a Saga. I quite like that as an option. It doesn't... Oh, um, yeah, Step 2, it replaces itself. It draws a card. So, yeah, Scry 2, draw 2. So it's, it's Giant card draw stuff. You probably need a bit of mana fixing with giants, so you make sure you've got enough land to play them. Probably a curve starts at four or five. So this is the uh, the bounce spell I saw. That was, that was messing up my plans um, with my uh, yeah my um, control magic plans. The uh, the heist saga. Some reanimation, there's another giant. So what's the best card here? So maybe um I think that's a four four for four, it's sort of decent. I think we will just commit to giants, we'll get invasion of the giants. Now we've got a snow-covered mountain. We, we might have to start picking these things up. If there's nothing amazing, no amazing payoffs. Gold vein pick is really good. So it's kind of... Um, it's a tough choice, actually, between gold vein pick and snow-covered mountain. But I think... I don't think there's many early creatures in the giant deck. Um, and that this 
this kind of excels on your early evasion creatures. I think we'll see another gold vein pick later. I'm gonna I'm gonna start grabbing the snow covered lands. There's another mountain here. Let's see what we've got here. That's definitely a good card in green, but that's a Bergstrider, so we definitely want that. This is actually not bad. It takes three power off the board. Bergstrider. It has to be Bergstrider. Okay, black, red. Could splash uh, black part of the world tree. That's this is uh this is kind of fun, isn't it? Anyway, let's have a look at uh, yeah, just making sure everything's working. Okay, so uh, we probably just ignore. Okay, there's a, there's a, there's a Bergstrider there. That's. I mean, our curve is not looking great. I'll, I'll ad have to admit that, but. Run Ashore is quite a good card, so I, I ran into this one. This uh, messed me up. Um, so yeah, it's a double bounce for six mana. But uh, yeah, Bergstrider, I think, is the pick. What we have, oh, that's a late rare, Pyre of Heroes. Sacrifice a creature, search your library for a creature card, it shares a creature type with a sacrifice creature, has mana value equal to one plus that creature mana, which is mana value. Go straight onto the battlefield. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'd, r I'd love to take Agar Freezing Flame. I hope there will be more. But yeah, we. Uh, this is where I feel really bad about rare drafting. I want the Power of Heroes. Okay. Um, okay, disdainful stroke. Is that playable? There's lots of expensive cards flying around. I think um, glacial floodplain. It's it's blue. It's got blue in it. Better than nothing. Uh, let's see, Dual Strike. Oh, Invasion of the Giants is back. We're going to have a lot of these. That is a Yeti. Okay, that doesn't... I need Snow to be unblockable. Okay, yeah, we're not excited about that. Just grab another of these. Okay, we're running out of things that uh, make sense. So a 324... Three seems good. Grab it. Okay, I guess white is open. There's lots of good white cards uh, there. The only thing we could use is the longboat. That's not not too good, I guess. But maybe we'll we'll have to use it. Our null probably unusable. Do we want to splash white? <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe we'll we'll chuck a white creature in there, and we'll take. Okay, this is yeah. Discard, draw two cards, create a treasure token, or we can have some early sort of removal to just take some power off the board. That might. That that. That seems to be effective. Uh, I've seen someone using that, so I'm convinced. Uh, we'll put that in the sideboard. Open the omen, omen pass. Uh, it gives you f f one extra mana, doesn't it? it? Does not give you any card. It doesn't replace the card. Doesn't seem good at all. Um, I think we just sideboard that one. Oh, Tosky Vera of Secrets. That's really nice. Uh, let's let's grab the rare. Okay, we have a couple of snowlands. There is a mountain forest there. 
Dual Strike. I don't think we're a Dual Strike deck. That's a good card. Oh, an early flyer that can do a bit of draw and discard. That seems good. It, yeah, and it costs you snow mana to do that. Oh, oh, squash. Okay, well, obviously we take the squash for our giant deck. Okay, another invasion of the giants. Might wheel around. See if there is something better, such as a uh, Berg Strider. Berg Strider number four. Can we really get away with that? Um, or Frostbite. This is definitely a card that keeps us alive. So we'll go for that. Vega the Watcher. Augury Raven is pretty decent and a cheap th creature we can play, relatively cheap. Or we could get um, Island Swamp Snowland. Um, it's another Snowland. I think we're a bit short of Snowlands. So we need that. I don't know. No, the Augury Raven is just just good so let's let's grab that that could be a turn three drop slumber mound um don't think we're going to get double green to get that work to work so we won't worry about that behold the multiverse is good card draw don't really want a snow plains okay we'll take yeah we'll take the card draw there we go, Agar. He did turn up again. Thank goodness. Right. So I think uh, in this situation I should be panicking because I've only got two Snowlands. I think let's drop Doomscar Oracle. Um, drop out funeral longboat is just about playable it's not great uh, I think we go for another pilfering hawk here that can at least which is my first pilfering hawk it can actually crew a longboat so that is something Okay, he's nice and cheap and uh, takes some power off the board. Run a mock. So yeah, we like we like this guy. That's that's a good one. We can have some early game guys. That should work. Uh, Raven wings or run a mock. Dual Strike, Fearless Liberator, Immerstone Raider. So we're definitely, the problem we're going to run into, we're pretty low on. Ooh, he makes tokens. Right, we're pretty low on creatures, especially uh, early creatures. I don't think we can afford to get a Dual Strike. That, that guy is just better, that just makes creatures. That can sort of replace himself. Um, yeah, we, we like a, a late invasion of the giants, so we're up to three of those. Uh, da, da, da. Doesn't matter what we pick here, let's grab that. Snow-covered plains. Yeah, we are short on snowlands, we'll just chuck that in there, we might have to use it. Hmm, Dwarven Reinforcements, good. So, how bad is the deck looking? So it's 23 cards, but with three land, so we're three short of a deck. But I'd like to get at least three more snow-covered lands. 
We've actually got two perfect ones here, Alpine Meadow and Shimmer Drift Vale. Um, and we'll just, uh, but we've got to take Yawn, uh, God of Winter. Tell you what, it's hard, it's hard drafting when you're committed to rare drafting. Well, yeah, we check that guy. So that is a pretty legendary artifact though. Maybe maybe we can splash black and play that. Okay, there's a snow covered island. Oh no, look. God, how have I got it? Oh, oh no. Okay, yeah, we have to pick this. Okay. It's fine. Um So how bad is it? How bad is it? Berg Strider. If one snow was spent to cast a spell, it doesn't untap. So that's pretty low. That's that shouldn't be a big deal. That needs one snow, not a big deal. Uh, frostbite needs three snow permanents, land, lands and creatures, so that's a bit harder to uh, trigger. Let's see what... I uh, don't think we'll be able to activate that. going to be another Rhine Barrow Intruder. It's going to give us some early game, I suppose. Yep, I think uh, we're okay with that. Good, another Agar. I think it has to be him. Oh, it's this guy. I feel like Ice Shaper is quite interesting. But, uh, can't play him this time. Fine, the monster's a nice removal card, but let's get the Agar. Remember, we've got to get some snow lands. We've got, we've got three, and one of them is the wrong color. Okay, uh, so our deck is going to be t these 22 c cards and these three lands. So we only need one more card, but we do need a lot more snow lands. Be nice to improve funeral longboat, I suppose. But we've got a few cheap guys who can make that work. So, full green ravens, pretty good. But I think by now we 100% have to take any snow lands we see. Okay. Black green one doesn't really cut it. It's the blue green one, okay. Yeah, let's take the frost auger. That's a giant wizard, okay. Search your library for instant or sorcery with the same name as a card in your graveyard. So you need to double up on instants and sorceries. Good luck. I mean, I wonder how many times that has actually triggered in, in draft. Well, I played against the guy who's got, like, got three frostbites before, I think. Um... Still, it is a giant wizard. It triggers other uh, giant effects, so it that just makes it playable. It's going to be for four mana. It's got five toughness, so it's quite playable. I think uh, Run Ashore is the other option. That's quite it's quite a good card. This doesn't seem good. 
maybe I need I need it. Uh, let's see. I've got twelve creatures at the moment, and it it's some it's a giant I can put out at uh, with a cost reduction. That's the important thing. So it's potentially quite a cheap two five. Another snow covered plains. Not quite what we wanted. Okay, strategic planning. Draw two mana to draw one from, from the top three. Or well, we could get another snow covered plains. Sort of feels a bit stupid. That could find me. <laughs> Potentially, that's finding me my snowlands. Only three I really want to play out of this lot. Hmm. I think I go strategic planning to dig for snowlands. Perfect, Alpine Meadow. That's a good uh, removal spell. That's another giant. Flash, but uh, I'm gonna get a snow land. Uh, but next, we don't need, really need any more big creatures that aren't giants. Uh, sure. Open the urban pulse. I can't see that being particularly good. Let's take a, a two drop creature. Okay. Take that for the collection. Hmm. Interesting card. the school maybe we could uh, splash white for that and get an invasion from the of the giants back okay I think we made a giant stack uh, we've only got one let's see we've got five snowland and one of them is a really silly Snow planes. Still, yeah, we do have a Halvar God of Battle. I don't think we'll be able to um, get a double white to play him, unfortunately. Right, yeah, these have to share a creature type. And that is sorcery speed as well. You can't activate that in response to removal, unfortunately. How many creatures have we got? So yeah, we'll drop the longbow. Not too excited about that. Uh, drop a ball robber. Yeah, we keep maybe keeping these uh, card draw things to try and actually dig for a snow land. Let's 
So that puts us on 14 creatures, okay. I think I'll call that end of part one. Uh, Going to think a bit more about this. See if I can, maybe I can play Pyre of Heroes if I can figure out what my creature types are. Uh, that's a shame. You don't have a four mana cost giant or wizard, do we? No, that's a bird. Power of Heroes isn't quite going to work. Uh, I guess we are splashing white already because we've got Snowlands. Oh yeah, I've got three. We've actually got three white sources. Essentially, we could uh, just play that for Sword of the Realms, which is quite a good equipment card. Worth the thought. Yeah, so I'll call that end of part one, I think, and uh, come back to this later. All right, thanks for watching.